Sonny actually reminded me of a topic that just struck my mind yesterday as I was putting on my track. And I got this big blue barrel. And I got a little bag in there. And for a whole month. And you know what it was? Banana peels, coffee rinds. But you had it in recycle? No, blue barrel. Green barrel recycle. <laughs> I thought you knew that. <laughs> it struck me when I was going out there, you know, what a waste of resources that was, you know. And it also struck me that, you know, much of that is would be good mulching material, wouldn't it? And then it further struck me that at the end of my street, which is where Ocean Walk lives, mm -hmm. I noticed they got like 10, 12 barrels along, along the, uh, the side of the road. And I imagine most of their refuse is, in fact, mulchable. Mm -hmm. Have we ever looked at using uh, at mulching this rather than than putting it in the landfill? Composting is they're actually rewriting food composting regs at DES right now. And, so. and two high school kids at Winnicott kind of are actually leaders in that field. Two years ago, two the seniors did a mm -hmm. they did a pilot composting program through the school. So, it, no, it definitely has been looked at. Okay. So it will, just like, you know, um, I, I've looked at the cost of getting rid of trash. With the tipping fee that we pay, yeah, it's $156 a ton. If you take all the cost in, into cons consideration. If you look at the transfer station, or look at recycling, that's still $124 a ton. Because I picked up the cost of the trucks, the maintenance of the truck, the fuel, the driver. The well, the transportation we're not going to be able to get out of there, in my opinion. Okay. So the, but the question we, is the tipping fee. If we go really. with composting waste, that will be proportionally 75 to to $100 a ton. It's going to be very manual, very labor intensive, and very, there again, I'll be asking you for trucks to haul compost. Mm -hmm. But you, the, the, I mean, you can actually sell it once it's composted to go back. So that actually could be a source of revenue. Right. So there is potential there in the future. There is potential. Okay. I'd be happy if I'm not never really looking to. I'd be happy if I could just get rid of it for free. Yeah. To be honest, when the program right, right. starts. Well, so I, that then it would reduce or offset yeah. waste. Disposal fees. Because we're that looking at replacing the trucks and how we do right. our, our refuse disposal. Right. I think it's important to consider that as a uh, a viable option oh. to be looking at, and, and that's why I wanted to raise it. Definitely being I didn't know about the Winter kind of people. Uh, they're doing something. Their project came out uh, successful today? It was successful, but it's, it's on very on a very much a small scale. Of course. It's a and then they pilot. found somebody who would want to come and take the the swill, if you will, or the, the material, yeah. and I think it went to a pig farm. But yeah, it definitely got sure. reused. Yes, yeah, so I'll yield to you. Thank you. Right now? Right now. Thank you. <laughs> Immediately. You're talking <laughs> compost piles. I happen to have put it in my backyard of compost when I first moved to Hampton mm -hmm. and do a lot of the stuff of what you were just saying you were taking out in your ash barrel, which made me think of something. Is there a possibility of some place in Hampton or near the dump or something where the people, if they wanted to, could bring their compost and create a town compost pile that you wouldn't have to take it anywhere? And then after a while, the compost becomes, five or ten years, becomes usable. Usable. And also you get paid for it. You could sell it to farmland and all that. We, is we, is we part of that a potential? Technically still do. I mean, um, uh, you can put anything you want in my leaf pile. <laughs> and I'll just you know leaf between the, that is the, the leaf compost pile. The leaf yeah. you can the, put the, the leaf, leaf waste. Yeah, but they only picks up leaves like twice a year. <laughs> no, you ever go to dump and turn oh, we can get a whole barrel. But just the sheer shelf. volume. The leaves are very dry. They take a if you can mix them with a good portion of grass and keep it turning. And if you want to bring any compost, if you will, or the coffee grinds, the whatever, throw it right in. We just turn it right in. Now this year we got. We, we restructured the contract. We asked for 160 cubic yards of compost material. This is the first summer where we've actually had, for the whole summer, a pile of compost material for the residents to use or to take. There's still some there. Cool. The rest of it they took. 
at no charge to us. So that, you know, so we did get a cost benefit from it. Um, so yeah, I mean, so we have one of the biggest components of a composting portion, although if I do get food grade waste in, it's going to have to be turned on a much more frequent, frequent basis. So to keep down the vectors. So we yep. couldn't do it until you get the agreement that you'd be turning it over to prevent what you just said. And that the state you, you wouldn't want me to come down and drunk, put my eggshells and my coffee grinds in your leaf pile. He is so honest with you, if we did, I'd set an area aside where you could, and then I'd pick it up on a daily basis and mix it with a compost so That's that it idea. was deeply buried. Years ago, we had, uh, I think, an ineffective recycling with those little tiny green bins we used mm -hmm. to have, yep. which was a very ineffective uh, recycling program that this town had. And the selectmen had a recycling committee, which I believe still exists, um, which really uh, spurned this whole new initiative. I think, uh, along with others that were selecting on the board of selectmen that were uh, following through with their recommendations. But I think if the recycling committee still does exist, it would be great if they could pick up this and try to come up with some sort of <laughs> similar program that they did with the recycling stuff. I mean, we can save, uh, I think, some real money uh, in terms of tipping fees. Mm -hmm. So uh, I just wanted to lay that thought out there as a general idea, okay? And once again, I'll endeavor to shut up. Thank you, Tim.